In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the container registry for your project inside a GitLab server and that container registry will be managed by the GitLab itself. So here I have my local GitLab server running on localhost 8000 and I have this repository called build with lal and if I go to this repository and then I see here under the deploy, I do not see any container registry option enabled here and even if I go to the admin panel I am not seeing any container registry here as well by default when you set up your GitLab server the container registry is not available for any of your created projects so once you have your GitLab server configured then you need to set up your container registry for any of your project by updating the GitLab configuration as you guys have seen in my previous videos that I have set up this GitLab server and this GitLab running through docker compose and I have all my configurations here in the docker compose.yaml file so i have this gitlab server running on port 8000 and then i have this gitlab runner which is communicating with this same gitlab server so to enable the container registry for your gitlab server we just need to add few additional configurations here and the first configuration you need to add here is the gitlab rails registry enabled true so by adding this flag your container registry will be enabled inside your gitlab server so whenever you create a new project that project will have its own dedicated container registry and even you run your pipelines and you build your docker images you can push those docker images to that project container registry and the other configuration we need to add here is the registry external url so in case you want to get access to this container registry for that specific project from outside the gitlab server you can access it on localhost port 5001 and since we will be accessing this container registry through localhost 5001 port so we need to expose this port 5001 from this running container as well so i'll add another port here from the host machine it's mapping the port 5001 and inside the container since we are running on 5001 it's mapping to the same port on the container as well so this was all about to enable your container registry for the gitlab server so now i'll save this configuration and i'll switch to the terminal where my gitlab server and runners are running through docker compose so i'll stop these existing runner containers and then i'll rebuild the gitlab server container by passing this flag build and post recreate it will recreate this same container by applying the new configuration from that docker compose.yml file so now the GitLab server is reconfigured from the Docker Compose file and we have this updated GitLab server. So now if I visit my repository and I go to the deploy option, I can see that the container registry is now available here. And if I click on this container registry, so currently there are no containers images stored for this project and GitLab has provided me some suggested commands for how to log into your container registry and then how to build your docker image from your pipeline and then how you can push your docker images to this container registry. So here you can notice that the container URL is localhost 5001 as we have mentioned in the docker compose.yml file and then this is the admin username root. So if you have created this project under under another user that user will be mentioned here then we have the same repository build with law for which we have configured this container registry so the same way if you create another project from here suppose I call it open AI essentials and I'm picking the username here root and now if I go to the deploy and container registry you can see here that the container root URL is same, the username is same, but the project name is changed to OpenAI Essential. So this way GitLab provides you container registry which are separated by each project. If you have multiple projects and you build your Docker images for each of those projects separately, you can manage your Docker images separately as well inside your container registry. So as we have configured our container registry and it's enabled for this project and to test building docker images and pushing to this container registry i'll paste my sample ci file here so here i'm setting the stage to build the image i'm using is docker since we will need to build the docker images using the docker cli i'm using the container image docker and the tag is set to docker so the so the relevant docker executor will pick this job and then i'm running this script by echo ci registry password so by default you will have the registry password here in this global variable which is provided by the 
GitLab and then I'm running this command docker login and I'm passing the registry URL here. So the CI registry variable will be set to localhost and for 5001 then slash the username which is root and then this current repository which is built with lab. Then I'm setting the username to CI registry user. So all these variables are provided by GitLab by default. So you can reuse all these variables inside your pipelines when you are trying to log into your container registry. So after we are successfully log into the container registry. So first I'll build the Docker image from the Docker file which is inside this repository root directory and once the image is built with the commit tag ID then I'll push that same image to this container registry which I have set here and then I'll push that Docker image to that same container registry to which I am logged in here. So now let's commit these changes and see how the Docker is building and pushing that image to the container registry. So here the pipeline is running and if I go to the details of this pipeline I can see that the pipeline is running so first it's trying to set up the docker executor environment and then it's pulling the docker image which we have mentioned in the ci file and once the image is pulled then it will clone this repository inside that docker executor and next it will run the script part to log into the container registry then build and at the end it will push it to the container registry. So the pipeline has run successfully. So first it has tried to log into the Docker container registry by using the Docker login CLI command. And here you can see the printed message that login succeeded. And then it has tried to build the Docker image from that Docker file by using the Docker build command and tagging the image with the registry URL and the commit tag ID. And once the image is built, it is pushed to the container registry by using the Docker push command by using that same tag, which is the registry URL and the commit tag name and now if I switch to the deploy and then the container registry you can see here that under this repository build with lol I should have this newly pushed docker image which is tagged with that git commit tag id and if you click on these three dots you can see all the details here and if you want to delete this specific tag you can click on these three dots and you can delete this tag from here so now as i mentioned that every repository has its own dedicated container registry so now if i switch to my other repository which is the open ai essential and then i go to the deploy and the container registry i do not see any container images here because every project has its own container registry so if you want to push your docker images for this repository you can set up the gitlab ci file that same way you should have a docker file inside your directory and then once you run your pipeline it should build and push the container image to this specific repository only and just to give you a quick look of the docker file this was a very simple docker file which we tried to build and then we push to the container registry so it just has these two instruction which is pulling the python alpine image and then just printing the version so this was just for the demo purpose to see how we can build and push the docker images to the gitlab container registry this was a very quick demo about the gitlab container registry which is managed by the gitlab itself so you don't need to manage any other third party services so you just need to add these two flags to your configuration file which is enabling the container registry and then you need to expose that container registry from some external url now i'm going to show you one other thing in case you want to get access to this container repository from outside the GitLab so maybe if you have some other repository management system and you want to build the images there and then you want to push it to the same container registry so you can access this container repository from outside for that what you will need to do is that first you will need to log in to that container registry by using this docker login command which we have already mentioned in the GitLab CI file so I'm using docker login then I'm setting the username which is the admin at buildwithlal.com. This is the same username which I'm using to log into the GitLab server. And then I'm using the password here, which is also the same password which I'm using to log into the GitLab server. If I can show you here in the VS Code, this is the same username and password which I have set as a default username password for the GitLab server authentication. So I'll run this command and this should log in me to the GitLab container registry. And now I can try building and 
and pushing docker images for the demo purpose i have that same docker file which we tried earlier this is the same docker file pulling python image and then running this instruction to print the python version so if i run the ls dash l command on this directory you can see that docker file here so now we are logged into the container registry and we also have this docker file next i'll run the docker build command to build the docker image from this docker file and i'm tagging this docker image with the localhost 5001 port which is the container registry url and then under the root i have this repository build with lav and i'm passing a custom tag name here my local commit so inside the gitlab server we can confirm that we have this same tag pushed there so i'll run this command so the image is built and if i run docker image ls here i can see that on the top we should have that same docker image tagged with that same container registry url and in that same repository name next what i'll do is that i'll run the docker push command on that same tagged image and you can see that the image is pushed to the container registry if we go to the project and then container registry you can see that the tags are updated to two so now if i go to the details of this repository i have this newly push tag my local commit so this way you can interact with your gitlab container registry either from your project internally from within the gitlab server or you can interact with it from outside world by using that same exposed port and the same way we push to this container registry you can also do a docker pull from the same repository as well to revise quickly gitlab comes in with the default container registry for each of your project but by default the container registry is not enabled and if you want to enable the container registry you can just add these two flags to your configuration your registry should be enabled for each of your project and gitlab does provides a separate and a dedicated container registry for each of your project so this way you can isolate all your docker images for each of your project by using a separate container registry and you can can interact and do a docker pull and docker push with your gitlab container registry from both inside your gitlab pipelines and also from the outside world